what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on a different topic of mind control many people have been messaging me that how to control the mind can you give some tips tricks techniques and ways and methods by which we can discipline the mind it's not possible at our stage to completely control the mind only a yogi can do that but yes at least there are different ways by which we can bring it under control to such an extent that we can make it do what we want not do what it wants should i repeat it is possible to bring it unto such a level that we make it do what we want the mind to do rather than we doing what the mind wants which is the case most of the times right therefore if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed to it yet then please subscribe to the link below somewhere here there <laughs> and if you want a personal consultation then please approach me in the website below with the renaissance nice and book a consultation and before beginning as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you control the uncontrolled mind <laughs> all right so what's the topic today this topic is how does the mind trick us it's very interesting the way the mind tricks us let's talk of any bad habit let's talk of alcohol <laughs> so we are not talking of addictions here either you are addicted to alcohol or you are or you are not addicted to alcohol there's not much difference because the very fact that you are taking alcohol uh tells that there is some level of deficiency or void inside you which you are trying to fill with that because that's an escapism right <laughs> because alcohol doesn't answer the question it makes you forget the question right should i repeat suppose there's a question in front of you you're not happy with your marriage or with your job then what you do you take alcohol then what happens you get the answer right <coughs> no you don't get the answer you simply forget the question you simply forget for some time that you're miserable in some area of your life that is why to fill up that people take different sorts of intoxicants and the problem is if you tell them that why are you taking this then they will say no 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 i am not addicted <laughs> it's just a matter of time sir you will become addicted if you don't believe me and if you continue taking then good luck because i have seen every addict was a non addict once upon a time he was also a naive uh, drunkard <laughs> once upon a time and then he became a professional drunkard by that so it is very dangerous to say that we are not addicted to something it's like saying i am waiting till i get addicted to something and then i will plan to leave it all right it's like saying <clears throat> suppose you get a cut in your hand and there's blood flowing out profusely and instead of going to the doctor and treating that you say no 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 but my uh, blood the blood is not coming too much <laughs> there's not much blood loss maybe when there's more blood loss then i will go to the doctor right no fool will give such statements so if we are slowly getting into some bad habit whatever it is let's make it a point to cut it in the beginning only because the scriptures give the example of bad habits like an elephant <laughs> the elephant when it's calm and composed it will not trouble you much yes have you seen big elephants <laughs> but suppose that elephant gets mad as in hindi they say na pagal hathi that means something happened and this elephant just lost his his or her <laughs> cool and then you leave that elephant in a beautiful garden what it will do it will wreak havoc in the garden every beautiful flower will be destroyed by that elephant that means when the mind is calm 
that is the time when you can work on your bad habits once the mind starts raging the desires start pouring more and more and more it's like the elephant who has got who has become mad and now you have left that elephant in the beautiful garden and what's what's the garden here the garden is your life <laughs> it completely destroys you it throws you out of where you belong or what you are supposed to do it throws you out from that so the trick which the mind uses is the mind will tell you this is the last time you are doing this <laughs> after this you don't have to do suppose somebody is trying to uh, give up alcohol then what the mind will say is no no it's okay not to drink alcohol but this is the last time <laughs> after this i will not force you again <laughs> and imagine this is the same dialogue the mind is giving every time oh well before that i had to say one thing this dialogue the mind will only give to those who are trying to control their bad habits if somebody is going on indulging without knowing that that's wrong then the mind will not say anything <laughs> because the very fact that the mind is playing tricks it means that you are trying to control the mind then only the mind plays tricks right otherwise the mind will not play tricks so if you have this state then consider yourself very lucky you are much much above the general public who don't even know that uh, what to do and what not to do that means if somebody is in this state that his mind his or her mind is tricking the person then that means you are having some level of desire to control that bad habit so congratulations on that that's the first step first step is you desire to control that bad habit so now what the mind will tell my dear sir <laughs> see the mind is very clever the mind is more clever than you think yourself to be your intelligence is strong but the mind is much more clever so what the mind says is the mind will tell you yes 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 alcohol is bad <laughs> the mind will speak in the tone of the intelligence that is the power of the mind because now the mind knows see I'll, that's the game here <laughs> now the mind knows that if i tell him directly that alcohol is good then this person will not listen to me he will directly throw out this bottle or in short he will directly delete the phone numbers of those friends who will call him to drink alcohol <laughs> but now the mind has become very vigilant the mind knows oh he is starting to go away i have to pull him somehow i have to value well, this person then what the mind does the mind will tell you that the mind will appear to be your friend okay so be very careful <laughs> just because somebody is appearing to be your friend doesn't mean he or she is your friend all right so be very careful when you hear the mind being so friendly <laughs> because lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita that when arjuna says i can control the winds but i cannot control the mind it's so difficult when we are reading the bhagavad gita we will see it in the further verses in the further chapters of the gita so there lord krishna tells the mind is very difficult to control but with detachment and practice by two techniques you can control the mind about we will, which we will discuss later but now i am telling you this video in this video i am saying that the mind will use different different tricks to allure you <laughs> into falling back to that habit again so now the mind says now the mind is aware okay i should not say bad uh, that alcohol is good because now the person is trying to control so if i say that alcohol that alcohol is good he will directly deny so the mind will speak in a language which you feel very good okay so the mind will tell you no no see yes you are right alcohol is not good but this is the last time you are doing after this you don't have to do only today it's only today this is the trick which the mind uses and the mind will tell this to you every time yes and then maybe after one year of drinking you realize that oh my god i have destroyed my body this happened that happened then you take a stronger resolution 
that maybe i will not drink one more than once in a week if you used to drink a uh, once in 3 days now after one year of drinking you decide that i will only drink once in a week that means you have reduced the frequency by half 3 days to 7 days so now what do you think the mind will let you be free <laughs> no the mind will not let you be free because the more you feed the mind the more it is becoming stronger do you understand this the more you say yes to the mind the more it becomes difficult to say no the next time should i repeat the more you say yes to the mind the more it becomes difficult to say no the next time so it's like uh, in ramayan there is this uh, famous character called vali so vali whoever used to fight with vali the half of the strength of the opponent used to come to him <laughs> so imagine if you have uh, two hands to fight so if you go and fight with vali the strength of your one hand will go and uh, join in his strength <laughs> so that's impossible you cannot defeat that person that is why he was invincible even ravana could not defeat him so the mind is like that the more you fight with the mind yes or the more you uh, feed the mind the more the mind becomes strong and the more it compels you to do what it wants the next time so suppose a person who is trying to stop drinking then what happens is the mind will tell okay once in a week is fine <laughs> then slowly the mind will say why only on sundays you should drink on saturdays also then after some weeks the mind will say why only saturday why not friday night friday is the uh, day of venus after all right <laughs> but that's the predicament which we have the problem is we think the intelligence thinks that by agreeing to the dictations of the mind the mind will succumb to our dictations one day the mind thinks that uh, the intelligence thinks if only we agree to what the mind is telling us today it will not trouble me in future but unfortunately that's exactly the opposite of what happens okay so what i wanted to say is do not fall into this trap of only once <laughs> many people especially when they go to uh, bachelors to engineering college i have seen even when i was in chennai asrm university chennai then most of my uh, friends there in my first year of engineering college i saw that they were from very good families some of them were from brahmin families they used to uh, chant hanuman chalisa you know asavara din janaki mata ram rasayana tumhare paas aa these shlokas they used to chant <laughs> jai hanuman gyan guna sagar one of my roommates used to chant this but later on by staying in bad association they were completely destroyed all right the mind will tell you so they, these people came into association with seniors of the engineering college and then the senior said smoke this cigarette once <laughs> and then they were like no 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 we don't smoke then the senior said you don't have to become addict you have to just smoke once <laughs> and that one thing which they did that one day they are paying the price till now many of my friends are addicts of smoking drinking is needless to say addicts to so many things my god it feels very bad when i come to know that this is their precarious state why because there was one day when they decided to take it <laughs> so this once philosophy only once this doesn't work this is a very big trap do not fall into this the moment the mind says only once that's it you understand that the mind is actually telling you for the rest of eternity and this may apply to anybody in any area in any bad habit now suppose you have certain bad habits now at this point but in future you may get allurements for some other bad habits so at least then you try to say no <laughs> yes at least then you do not say yes 
suppose a person is smoking but he has never touched alcohol so at least forget about the smoking but but at least when it comes to alcohol he, sh- he should not make that decision that okay you now he is telling me once let me try there's no trial here there's no error it's all out <laughs> and then i know some people will uh, blast me in the comments now that oh you are telling like this na no, drinking alcohol is not bad who said no. somebody will bring references from ayurveda of kapha pitta vata somebody will bring reference from some university of stanford that they recently published a journal or recently published an article stating that alcohol is not bad somebody will say that oh in um, xyz college 20 years back this article was published that alcohol in some amounts can be good for the body also yes <laughs> you can uh, publish how many ever articles you want but my state will only be based on the scriptures scriptures are telling alcohol is not good that means it is not good i do not need any arguments all right to support or to go against it because tomorrow stanford university may publish another paper saying that alcohol is bad okay then what then you will say alcohol is bad <laughs> and after 10 years if a nobel laureate comes and says okay alcohol is good then he will again say alcohol is good right because with science the only problem is it's very flickering when i was young that time those days they used to say pluto is a planet but then uh, some 8 10 years back they announced pluto is not a planet and now they are thinking maybe pluto is again a planet or not i don't know if again it is counted as a planet <laughs> so our findings have to be based on the scriptures and to what extent that matches with modern day science we can accept that wholeheartedly there is no problem with science i am not denigrating science here all right but what i am saying is whatever the scriptures warn us from we have to take those warnings even if science says it is good or it is bad we cannot accept that because today some scientists may say okay this is good but tomorrow they may say it's bad but after some days they may again say it's good take the example of meat there are so many scientists so many dietitians so many health experts so many doctors who say that meat is bad meat should be completely given up some people say that no 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 meat is not bad at all you can take how much ever you want so there's a contradiction there are some scientists who say that oh only red meat is bad other meat is not bad but the common sense a person may have and the person may think but meat is all, always red <laughs> oh now you will say okay according to fda this that na red meat come is this this is not under red meat a uh, beef is under red meat this is on un- under white meat this is under pink meat this is under uh, violet meat I, i i don't know how you define those terminologies then there are some uh, doctors who say that good quality meat is good <laughs> bad quality meat is not good but i don't know i mean there's something which is rotten from so many days from so many weeks months maybe and you are taking that and how can that be good for your body yes so uh, whenever we base some of our findings on science alone then it may be troublesome okay so we have to check the scriptures no scriptures the shrimad bhagavatam clearly tells that one should not eat meat because that sucks away the inquisitiveness for spirituality so then we understand okay now if scientists are supporting this then it's okay if they are going against this it doesn't mean that i will start following what they say all right so that is it from my side do not fall in the trick of the mind once is for all once you drink you will always drink all right <laughs> oh yeah yeah somebody will blast me in the comments i have tried everything i have never become addict wait till you get depressed you will become i'm sure you <laughs> anyways i'm just joking don't take it seriously I, i i don't want you to become an addict okay i just want that you stay away from all the addictions all the phantasmagoria that the modern society the modern civilization promises to offer all right that is it from my side if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it yet then please subscribe to the link below and if you want a consultation then approach me in my website and if you like this video click the thumbs up and show this to somebody who is thinking should he try alcohol once or twice <laughs>
ओके अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम यू शू गुड लक बाय बाय सी यू